as we talk about mental health, remember the sense of self is very important. Control you. Because remember, number one, the world is not fair. If you think the world is fair, the world is not fair. Since to talk a Garden of Eden, the world is not fair. And therefore, the world cannot be fair. The issue is, how are you going to find your personal balance? Because we cannot find the balance for you. We can advise, we can recommend, we can try, but no one can ever find that state of balance for you. The other thing, of course, as you mentioned, is your attitude. Make sure you keep teaching yourself to have a positive attitude. No matter what is happening in your life at any given time, always purpose to have a very positive attitude because your attitude has a ripple effect of most of the things that happen to you. If your attitude is a negative one, if your attitude is a very hostile attitude, thank you, what happens is that most of the time, as I keep saying, you will react, isn't it? You will show people, Mimi, usinioneshe, we usinilete. But most of the time, who are you showing? Is it someone who can be able to reprimand and pinch you somewhere that you'll feel pain? Is it someone that has control of your life at a given place? So when you have that negative attitude, as I said, most of the time you'll find you're taking the poison, expecting the other person to do what? To die. It is you who will keep dying kidogo kidogo. Then of course the daily health habit, taking care of yourself. What you eat, what you drink, where you get your rest, where you get your peace. That's why it is deliberate that I keep saying if it is our family, you can't keep going to live with your biggest enemy.
Learn how to manage and control your thoughts, your mind, and how you are going to function. Because if you don't have, ripple effects will keep following you, but you'll always be doing this, pointing to the other, and three are pointing who? You. Or taking poison and expecting others to die. Now women do mechukua ile poison. So number one is workload. Workload will always be there as when you are an employee. And that's why you are employed. If there was no work, would you be needed with a master? No. You would not be needed with a master. So the issue is find your balance. Find your balance. Always find your balance with your master. And you can do it if you just become sober. Sit down, analyze situation, know what to do, what not to say, know what to say, know what not to say, and when to do it you will be able to find your balance. Then of course, interpersonal issues. Most of the things that affect us at work is because of home. It's because of home. So you are not happy at home, you've not invested in your interpersonal home life, and the ripple effect of anger, disappointment, disillusionment, all of them, you carry them, then you carry them to work, isn't it? Because if at home you are not respected, and you remember respect is earned, respect is not demanded. Respect is earned. That is why the only place that people do not care about respect, by the way, is your employer. Because whether you respect or do not respect them, you will still do what they want. But at home you can't do that. I'm your wife, and you do not respect me. I will remind you. I will do it. I will remind you. I might not say it, but the actions will pinch you somewhere that life is going to be painful. So it is very important for you to sort in a personal life. It is very important for you to sort home. Because if there is anything you carry 24 hours, is home more even than work.